This is David Reeve coming to you from the North Branch Library Makerspace called The Forge. With uh, Also with me is uh, Trey Ford who's the uh, technical librarian and oversees The Forge here. And I had one of these uh, SparkFun XB wireless kits. You can, these, uh, let's look what we have here. It's just going to go through some what you actually get with the kit. Mm -hmm. It's going to have two of the uh, XBs. Uh, these guys, you can pair them together to uh, have wireless communication. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's what, about 300 feet, Trey? Yeah, something along that line. Uh, this here is what you use to connect one of your um, XBs to your computer. It, it sits in here, plugs into this guy, and then you use a mini USB connection here. I'll go ahead and uh, open this up here so we can get a better look at it. Oh, sure. And there's the connector there, and you would plug the uh, XB into this, and then your computer can then communicate through its XB to your Arduino, which this is the actual shield that you construct. It requires a little bit of soldering. You'll use these stackable headers, and uh, the complete instructions for how you put this together are on SparkFun's site. Uh, typically, what I've, I've done when I worked with the stackable headers is I'll take a I'll put them in place on an Arduino board so that I can get the alignment well. Then you solder them in place and then you can then mount your uh, XB on there. There's also a little bit of room to do some additional uh, for additional prototype circuits there. Uh, not sure what additional things you may want to do on that but if you are, um, one of the applications for these XBs is to have like a remote uh, intelligent sensor. For example, you may have, a, well, one of the things I've been wanting to do was to put, uh, get some of those, you, you've seen those moisture sensors? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we do a lot of gardening and I thought it would be really cool to set, you know, an Arduino with a moisture sensor and the moisture sensor could be, um, it could be interfaced through mm -hmm. here to the Arduino, which in turn will then communicate through the XB back to the computer in the house, which it would read that information, mm -hmm. and it could in turn transmit over XB to another Arduino Absolutely. that's hooked up to um, a, a water valve, mm -hmm. or, you know, to turn water on and off to the actual unit. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it would just talk right back to this unit that has another stackable header, which has the interface for turning the right. water on and off. But in any case, that's the uh, XB, or the SparkFun XB, wireless kit and I'll post the link where you can go over to uh, SparkFun's site and pick you up one. And uh, if you're just getting started with this stuff, there, like everything there's a lot of great tutorials online but there's this book, it's a couple years old now but it's still perfectly great and it talks specifically about XBs a lot. It's called uh, just Wireless Networks, it's an O'Reilly book and oh, it's cool. really good and it tells you how to get them set up and everything. Oh awesome. Yeah so if uh, yeah definitely a lot of great resources on that and check out your local library they probably have that O'Reilly book there. In fact uh, we keep a lot of great books here. If you're here in the Denton area mm -hmm. stop by the North Branch Library and um, they got a lot of really great reference books here in the Forge. But thank you for watching. You have a great day.